What do you say we head out tonight after school? Hit the town, maybe get into a little trouble. Yeah, maybe in my next life, crazy. Ah, uh, maybe you already got plans. Maybe a secret girlfriend. Oh, please. I have to have a social life to have a girlfriend. I mean, you know my father. I can barely go to the bathroom without his approval. Oh, well, he doesn't keep tabs on you every second. I bet you are the most popular guy on campus, right? Whatever. <laughs> I knew it. So what's her name? Stay put. That was fast, man. I can't believe you beat us here. Well, I ran a few red lights. So what's going on? Town car spun out. Driver was found unconscious. Single gunshot wound to the chest. That's all we know so far. So why is this an IIB's radar? Well, Metro ran the plates. Turns out the car's registered to Abbasi Aim. Aim, why do I know that? The former Liberian minister of state, accused of theft and brutality. He relocated here eight years ago after being forced to be removed from office. That's right. There was quite the public outcry. Yeah, some folks aren't too happy about an exiled tyrant living in their neighborhood. Well, a guy like that, his name's flagged in the system. Cock lines attention. That the victim? Paramedics are working on him now. Thank you. Hey, long time no see. Uh, hey, told you you couldn't quit me. Nice badge. Please, please. Be easy. Is he okay? Sir, you've lost a lot of blood, okay? You need to take it easy. We're gonna get you out of here. All right, just breathe. You need to just breathe, sir. Where is he? Just breathe. There was a boy in the back of the car, 15, maybe 16 years old. That explains this. Ibrahim Aim. It's Abbas Yaim's son. So the question is, did he walk away? Or was he taken? Hey. Hi. So can we see our guy? Yes, I will take you to him. But whatever your expectations are, lower them. He's heavily sedated. Yeah, but is he still conscious? He's in and out. But even awake, I don't count on him being able to string two sentences together. I'm hoping you won't have to. OK. Make it quick, OK? He needs his rest. Somebody should have told him that. Hey, no drive through tonight. I want to eat something healthy. You got it. Whoa, hey. Hey, man. Didn't we already save your life once today? Where are you going? I have to report to my boss. OK, you got a tough boss? Hey, come on. I can relate to that. Come on. Easy. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Ah, here we go. I asked my boss for some career guidance, and he laughed at my face. Can you believe that? Huh? What is that, right? Rumored that my boss once had a man executed for being late. Okay, you win. Thanks for bringing him back. Yeah, maybe I'll come check in with him after my shift. Look at you. What? Not every paramedic goes the extra mile. Okay. Do you remember anything that happened? It's foggy. I can't quite. It's okay. Just do your best. It's okay. Just think. Ibrahim. I lost him. Can you think of anyone else who could have done this? Anyone? He's gone. It's my fault. Okay, no, no, no. That's enough. Just calm down. You're pushing him too hard. I'm sorry. This thing I bring you back in to see him. Against my advice, he's refusing to take his meds before he speaks to you so he can be more focused. The pain has to be excruciating, Toby. Please go easy on him. Kid gloves, okay? Okay. Promise. Look 
crazy? Hey. You wanted to see us? Yes. I want to help. Good. Hey, Ibrahim isn't just my responsibility. He's my friend. Do you remember what happened? He's seizing. Hold him down. Okay. All right. He's in arrest. Give me the card. Bone shots. That's right. But we were able to remove them all. So it'll be painful, but you'll make a full recovery. The pain here is not as bad as the pain here. I lost a dear friend. You know what? If it's any consolation, I think you picked up a BFF. <laughs> Oz. Yes. He was here when I first woke up. Where was he? Does he always talk so much? He does, yes. <laughs> I like him. I, I think he's funny. Do you know he offered to get me a job at his parents' restaurant? Really? Don't tell him I said so, but I can do better. I won't. So you're gonna quit your job? It's for the best, I think. And to be honest, I'm ready for a change. You know, there's a lot of that going around. 